Hello, my name is Mark Nesbitt. I work for the analytics team, and today I'll be doing a very brief demo of the new 5070 on-prem only analytics offload feature. As you see, I'm currently logged into the cloud management console for the on-prem system. If you navigate to settings, analytics, this is a new tab we've introduced in 5070. Looking closely, we support four event types, API events, monitoring events, which is gateway and management node performance related data. Log events are typically sent from the gateway and include error conditions and other log events. Audit events are typically show up in the notifications bar up top here in CMC UI and API UI and include things as notifications when an organization is created or an API is published. Uh, the, for each API, for each event type, the user can either configure the default analytics output, which is the default out of the box, or they can optionally select a second export option to a third party system. The four output types we include are Elasticsearch, Kafka, Syslog, and HTTP. For the demo, I'm just going to show you how we can export API events to, through the HTTP output to Splunk, and also additionally show how we can export monitor events through Syslog to Splunk as well. Taking a look at the Syslog configuration first, you can see that the configuration is pretty straightforward. You just hit configure, come in, select a host port protocol, optionally include some SSL related information and hit update. The user can also send a test event to verify that their connection information is correct. I've already configured this and it's already running. So if I come into Splunk here and look for the data summary and go into the sources, you can see here's my syslog listener. And you can see here's the actual performance monitoring events received by Splunk. Coming back for the API events, um, I've already configured an HTTP output for API events. The configuration is a little bit more complex. Uh, we must specify an H URL. I've shown an example with SSL configured using the default TLS profile. I've also had to add a couple HTTP headers to connect to Splunk. Uh, one is an authorization header to authorize with the Splunk server, and the second one is the request channel, which helps Splunk determine where to send the actual analytics data. This is also configured, so if I come in here and invoke my API a few times, we should now be able to go back into Splunk, go back into the search. Here's the configured HTTP output token. Click here, and you should be able to see the actual two or three events I've just published. And that concludes my demo for today. Thank you.